Hi, this is the Viola excerpt for Video Games Live. This is the seating audition excerpt from 24 to 38, and then also skipping over to 199 through 203. So, um, starting at 24, not terribly difficult, but um, this is all very forte and at, with a lot of accents. So you have to be right at the frog, lots of crunchy bows, um, and also you have to be able to work your way back to the frog because we have a lot of um, long down bows, and so you have to be able to work your way back up to the frog for those down bows. There's a cat climbing up the back of my chair. Oh yeah. Okay, so here's 24. So, uh, and I'll definitely count these um, dotted half notes. So, two, ready, go. Crossings, be ready to cover both strings with your third finger. That's kind of tricky, but. Okay, and it's the rhythm ends up being kind of syncopated um, for the way it feels. Um, so it's. Okay, so try to keep track of where the beat is. It, it should all come out in the end, but it's tr a little tricky um, the way the pattern works out with the rhythm. Now we have to shift up to that E in fourth position. So you might want to do the last three notes of the measure before, what is it, 35. Um, okay, do that several times, jumping to your E. Okay, do that a bunch of times. And, and then test your four up on top, that's an A. Test that with your open A. So, okay, and then you should be straight across the string to the D string with your fourth finger. So. Okay, so we just keep playing the same pattern back and forth. Sounds a little bit like Star Trek right there. Um, crossing the strings uh, with uh, 4, 4, 3, 1, 4, 4, 3, 1, 4, 4, 3, 1, and then we jump back to first position. Okay, um, and then jumping over to 199. Um, so this starts in third position, and um, so anytime you have a pattern like this that's a sequence, try to figure it out so that the fingering can stay all within um, one pattern, one, one position of the hand, so that you're avoiding string crossings and avoiding um, shifts in the middle of the pattern. So I've already worked it out for you so that it's, well, actually every, every measure should start with a one and it ends up being a half step from two to three, so it actually makes it pretty easy. So we're starting off in third position with a one and a half step from two to three. Now, I didn't really mark it clearly here, but this should be first position. Okay, and the way it's written, um, it look, you know, going from a B natural to a D flat, it looks like an interval of a third, but it's really the same as just a, like, a, a whole step. Um, okay, so it's still that same pattern with half step from two to three and just a regular old whole step from three to four. So it's, okay, because it's a D flat on the top. Um, and now we're shifting to a whole step to C natural. Okay, you notice the same pattern here, half step from two to three, whole step from three to four. And now back to second position on your F. So um, all together there from 199 sounds like this. Okay, and really crunchy on those accented uh, eighth notes at the end. Try to get all accented notes to be right at the frog. Um, no extra points for being up high in the bow for a forte accent. It really needs to be in the lower half of the bow. Um, because the, the bow really is tighter there. I mean, if you push down, it, it there's a lot more resistance. Up here, it's just a lot more flabby and um, it doesn't respond the same way. So that's why we need to be lower half. Also, that's why in order to play in the lower half, you have to have this bow hold, not this one. This is not comfortable uh, and they don't have the same, the same leverage this way. It needs to be this way. So we're looking for flatter base knuckles, curved pinky. Notice that my thumb is also curved under there. 
Okay, and that way you have some um, some springiness in your hand, and uh, you can apply the weight in a diagonal motion to the string. Okay, not not straight down. Okay, uh, that would not be a good sound. Okay, so that is your audition excerpt. Good luck.